Welcome to another edition of Old Man Fingerboard. So, this is the four-week update. So, time flies. Uh, a lot has happened in a month. So, let's talk about all the things. I'll try to do it quickly because I can ramble on forever. So, we're going to start. So, you can see here I've got my new little park set up. So, I kind of built two sides, two different backdrops to the walls. Um, and I can rearrange the obstacles. I've got more coming. I've got a double-sided quarter pipe over there. I've got a square rail and another fun box over there with uh, with uh, a rail on it. So I've got lots of things going on already. Um, I've made like a horseshoe, so I can kind of do a run up one side. Um, you know, hit this rail, jump over this grass area, and come to the other side and and do a switch run back you know, into that quarter pipe. I have another quarter pipe coming, a mini one from uh, Dead Billy FB, as well as a couple benches. So I have a ceramic bench coming in here or a uh, concrete bench uh, and a wooden bench as well, which I can switch around, put them wherever. So I've got lots of more stuff coming. And so far, this is the park. So I decided to go with this surface here, um, just for this park at least, this is my quiet park. So it really cuts down on the noise um, by a ton. Lots of the wood and metal is still gonna make lots of noise, of course, but a lot of the errors and when the board goes flying, it's just uh, allows me for longer practice sessions. I still practice on my granite. Uh, upstairs, I've got wood surfaces, but for this park, I wanted to cut down on noise. So I went with this, and so far it's rotting really, really nice. So yeah, so that's it for the park. I made this little wall just for fun. Put a wood rail on top. Again, just want that little bit of backdrop and figure I could I could really create this horseshoe run that way. Uh, of course, I can ollie over this and onto it and do tricks as well. So this is the one month update. So aside from practicing every day, so if I missed a day, you know, almost every day, uh, I have not missed a day, of course. So I've done my minimum one hour, uh, a lot of times more than that, a lot of research, a lot of studying, a lot of things like that as well. Um, I know so much now compared to what I did before, just board widths and lengths, what I like, uh, the wheels I've tested, the tapes, the trucks, the bushings, um, you know, check out the channel. I've got a, a huge grip tape um, comparison coming up, a little shootout. So I'm gonna try at least seven or eight different tapes and I'll tell you my absolute favorite. Uh, the same thing goes with bushings. So I'll do a little bushing shootout and I'll comparison. I'll try as many bushings as I can. And I've already got, you know, four different types I've been trying already. So, so that's kind of that to make it a quicker video. So what I've been working on is what I said at the end of last video is I'm really just working on consistency with my kick flips um, and tricks in general, my rail tricks. So I've been practicing rail tricks for hours. I have so many dialed in now. Um, the quarter pipe, so I'm working on a quarter pipe now. I'll show you some of that stuff. I'm just really trying to learn uh, a lot of simple stuff. It's just uh, clean and looks good and, and uh, helps with my flow in the park. And then getting a run together now. So now that I've got this park, I'm trying to actually get runs together. Um, that's the fun thing is stringing tricks together. So I can start on one trick and uh, see if I can kick flip on multiple obstacles. So what have I learned so far in one month? Um, you know, you're gonna get frustrated or most of us will, that's normal. Um, practice, 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 practice. Sometimes you might feel like you're getting worse and that's probably normal as well. Um, stick to it, stick to it, practice, practice. I've been watching and listening and reading and studying as much as I possibly can. I'm excited to give you my how to ollie, you know, my how to kick flip and, and heel flip and how to ollie onto rails and how to ollie onto boxes and how to use the quarter pipe and all that kind of stuff. I'll have all those videos uh, as well as my comparisons. So practice, practice, practice for sure. Um, learn how to do tricks at different heights and different distances. So. One of the beautiful things about setting up, you know, even a couple of obstacles is, is, you know, practicing tricks different ways at different heights. I'll give you an example. If you looked at my week two video, I just had kind of learned kick flips and hadn't learned them that great. Um, you know, where am I at two weeks later after, you know, again, thousands more attempts and lots more research and study and practice is I can now do kick flips multiple ways. So I can do quick little pop ones. So I'll show you a couple of these quick little pop ollies as I call them. We're really just kind of bouncing it, uh, bouncing the board uh, off your finger and having it spin quickly. Uh, traditional medium height ones where I'm just kind of uh, 
you know, doing your typical ollie off the front corner. So instead of an, a regular ollie, you're just dragging the finger up the corner a little bit more. And then I learned some stalled out kick flips. So if I'm going over a big object, I might want to get to, um, you know, the height, the peak of my height or close to it, and then bust out the kick flip. So really different techniques for all of those. And, and then again, how to, how to do those in the flow. So how to land those tricks, keep rolling on to the next trick. So that's um, kind of the big update where I am. So I've, again, learned so, so much, getting more consistent, um, having as much fun as I did a month ago. So I won't be slowing down. If anything, I might be speeding up because I'm getting uh, longer sessions in this park. So again, I built this quiet park for that reason. I can spend literally hours practicing down here. So, um, you know, challenges for fun I give myself is this grass area. So if I'll see this grass area over here, and I can spend time just doing kick flips over this. Um, you know, sometimes before I go to bed, I might say, okay, you know, I want you to do five kick flips um, over this sign and grass area. Wake up in the morning, same thing before breakfast, you know, do same thing. Maybe it's uh, five kick flips over the sign. Right now, I'm really loving this little grass area. It's just very soothing to my brain. So, so yeah, so things like that. So that includes the four week update. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoy where my progress is at and where it's headed on my way to mastery. So stay tuned, I've got some great, again, tape shootouts coming. I've got some reviews. I'm gonna show you my square, ra square rail versus my round rail. I'm gonna show you my dynamic trucks versus my Black River trucks. So lots and lots of stuff coming up. And until next time, thanks for watching.